Hello, it's Sheila, the Grateful Goddess, and I'm here in London with Julia Siebel, a hypnotherapist, hypnotherapist, and mind coach. So thank you so much for joining me on this. Um, I want to introduce her to you. Uh, she is is just a beautiful person inside and out. And um, as we sit here in London on this stoop to give you the whole London feel, I want you to share with us um, what kind of work you do, like who it is that you help and how you best help them. Okay. Well, Sheila, thank you for having me. This is really exciting. Um, yes, thanks for the introduction. And I work mainly with women and children. I work with people who want to change something in their life and somehow can't on their own. Mm. And, you know, it's that moment when you think, ah, I wish I could change that. Yeah. Change that habit or change just being like that. I want to change that and they can't on their own. And that's mm -hmm. when a coach comes in and that's where I would kind of like to come in. Right. And so you're trained in NLP and hypnotherapy and really what you, I, I find it really fascinating, the whole idea of taking people back to time where they didn't feel the pain they're currently feeling that they're in right now. Yeah. And so can you t tell us a little bit about that and how that makes a difference? We found a pretty spot near the road. Um, yes, I certainly can. It is fascinating because it's, it stems from the concept that we are whole as a being, mm -hmm. um, especially when we were born. We're born like we are, and we come with all these amazing qualities. We are full of joy when we come out. We are full of self-esteem. We don't look in the mirror and go, oh, how do I look this morning when I'm a one-year-old? Um, we are fascinated by the world. We are outgoing. We like to interact with people. And then certain things happen in our life. Parents behave a certain way. Teachers behave a certain way. Friends don't want to be friends anymore. Love relationship, whatever happens, career choices and decisions making. And it, it can be quite complicated. And that's where we start to see life in a different way and that's where we reflect back on us and we think we are the problem. Mm. And it can start really early. It depends on when life happens to you and yeah. with you. Yes. And that life or, or our particular um, pain or suffering in life is an accumulation of all these experiences sort of stacking up on each other, right? Yeah. So when you take people back to prior to feeling that pain, then you can really pinpoint the imprint of the pain and why they're feeling it so that they can uncover it and release it. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. And it's, um, I feel very fortunate yeah. to have been trained in this um, field because I have um, this this feeling I want to help people live their best life mm -hmm. and I want to, them to know they can be happy they can be fulfilled they feel can feel the confidence and when they are in this pain they don't feel that they can they don't know how to get out and if we if I with the skills I learned and with good listening skills and with good questioning skills can take them back to a time when they were without the pain mm. and they go oh. I get goosebumps saying that now yeah. but they sometimes for the first time feel oh, it's it's not there right like if it is anxiety or deep sadness or whatever it is it's it's a feeling they thought that's them but it's not it's something they have accumulated and at a certain point in time was the first one and then they look around something else happens and they believe oh yeah see I'm just not good enough again and again and again and then it becomes a trait then it becomes a personality type and then it's just who, who I am yeah and I, I'm fascinated that we all have this possibility to change right so right. Yeah, I'm and it also comes with shifting perspective, which we talked about earlier. Is it, and and I love the idea of 
shifting your perspective um, from what you think might be something really horrible going on in your life to seeing it from the other person's state of being. And even if they are being horrible, uh, there is another story behind that, that that you may or may not be aware of, and that it can take years and years before you uncover, or you may never know what the real story was. It's just that it, it happens over time, and it's all just part of the process and the journey. Yeah, it is, again, how life plays out, we don't know. Yeah. And whatever happens to us, it's... I mean, don't, we all have situations that happen and we are never sure why they happen. Mm -hmm. And um, just the other day I thought about how do we manage to go from one event to the next when we don't know, is it going to be a good time I'm going to have? We all want to be happy. I mean, we all share this. We all want to live a happy life when you ask around. But how do we get there? How do we make sure that we can change perspectives to share, to shine a different light on an event? be able to actually see it from a different perspective and I mean you are professional in, in headstands and in changing, <laughs> per changing perspectives physically and that does help you change perspective in different scenarios as well you become more aware that there might be a different perspective to things right and um, so yeah I encourage everyone to find ways how they can practice physically to change perspective mm. because then on a mind from the mind side you then become more flexible yes. like a muscle you train yeah you then become more flexible to see it differently and yes. if we all want to be lighter and brighter and happier I say all because that's what I experience most people want to be um, so that's one element of changing perspective right get brings it's, us it's there. change the physical state of being just yeah. like they say you know if you want to um, you know, like you, you sort of tell your body that you're happy. If a smile, even when you're not feeling happy, a smile will indicate to your body that you are happy. And then all of a sudden it shifts yeah. the emotional being yeah. within you, yeah. which, which is what you're saying. Shift your perspective, yeah. stand on your head, do whatever it takes yeah. to shift your, uh, your physical state yeah. into one that is one that is happier. Yeah. And, um, that's a good start doing it that way, physically, mm -hmm. practicing it. And I came across two other concepts which I like to adopt. And um, one is called pro -noia. I don't know if you've heard of pro -noia. I don't know I if you've heard of pro -noia. <laughs> pro noia as the name might indicate, is something positive. Um, which means, whatever happens, whatever bad thing happens, whatever thing is going on in your life, and you might think, oh, think change your thinking into it happened for, for a good me. reason yeah it happened for me yeah and just imagine that everyone involved yeah would be in would be orchestrated to do that for you for to come into your life for a very good reason so everyone involved is just partaking in this in this event for you to experience it that way yeah. and it will have a positive outcome if we start seeing it like everything around us is happening for us in our favor yeah then you know well you reminded me of a story um, and it's so apropos being in London uh, because it's a story about a king and he has his friend and um, um, companion who hunts with him and they go out and they have all this fabulous time and the the friend companion is one that always looks at everything as it's for you and is in your best interest and at one point he, he the king shoots and shoots off his thumb and the and the companion says well hey that's that's okay it's all good it's all good and he's like how can this be good and he's so mad at him he puts him in prison and he's in prison for a year and then the king is off on a hunting expedition and he gets kidnapped by um, some native cannibals and they're going to kill him and then all of a sudden they notice that he doesn't have a thumb and it is of their tradition that you wouldn't 
you wouldn't um, uh, kill somebody who isn't whole. So he gets to, he's released and he goes back to his friend in prison and he releases him from prison and he says, I'm so sorry that I did that. It, you're right, it was good for me that I lost my thumb. And, he, and he's going, but I'm so sorry that I did this to you. And he goes, no, this is good. He goes, if you hadn't put me in prison, I would have been with you and they would have eaten me. <laughs> Well, that's, that's brilliant, Sheila. Brilliant, brilliant. Brilliant story. Because actually, what you just described is the second concept I'm telling you. Okay. Perfect. Because just remember what Sheila just said and call it the hindsight window. Yes. Have you heard of the hindsight yes. window? Yes. I love it. Yes. I yes. love it because it's actually the window. Like, the concept means you are the happier the shorter that window is yeah that window before an event and the realization that it's actually good yes so like for you in that story with the king that's that time was quite long wasn't it when yes. he was in, in prison and all of that but the shorter we can make that window the less suffering we endure and the, the greater our happiness is yeah so make sure you have this perspective of a hindsight window if we can look at something which is happening right now and start right there to actually turn it around then our hindsight window is much smaller yeah and we can live from that moment and mm -hmm. keep moving on yeah and and for the person who was in prison he immediately knew that it was good he didn't know why it was going to be in his best interest to be yeah. in jail but he knew that it was meant to be and that it, there was a purpose to it and that it would benefit all involved. Well, I hope you have found this to be extremely valuable and it has uh, helped you put life into perspective. Thank you so much, Julia. You're so wonderful. This is us changing our perspective. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, here we are.